could not be returned. God proves life after death in many ways, as stated in the Quran. Amongst his proofs is a moral and ethical argument. Certain evil people in this world would have gotten away with horrific crimes, and good people have lived difficult lives. If a person was wronged and did not see justice in his or her life, God will give him justice on that day. Without Judgment Day, unconvicted mass murderers would never be punished and life would be unfair. Everyone shall be judged and justice shall be served. God states in his book, Do the evildoers think that we will make them like those who believed and done righteous deeds in their life and in their death? Bad, indeed, is their judgment. If God created mankind the first time, why wouldn't he be able to create mankind the second time? To recreate mankind the second time will be even easier. Mankind has already witnessed the Almighty's first creation, in which people were created from soil. The creation of the heavens and the earth is greater than the creation of mankind. He who was able to create a vast and complex world is certainly able to raise the dead. Amongst Allah's signs of life after death is the continuous resurrection of plants and vegetation. Every year we observe the phenomenon of dead land with no vegetation, with land having died in the winter only to return to life in the spring. God asks man to ponder over the situation of seeds placed on the earth. When water and earth surround the seeds, they logically should decompose. As opposed to opening and splitting into a root that grows out of the ground, producing magnificent life forms like trees and plants. These are all signs of Allah's power, infinite wisdom, and the capabilities of bringing about life after death. The Holy Quran has over 40 names of Judgment Day. Amongst this name is the Day of Standing, since everyone will be too nervous to sit. The Day of Accounting, the Day of Sorting Out, the Day of Eternity, the Day of Meeting, and the Hour. Judgment Day will be such a heavy, difficult day that every page of the Qur'an mentions Judgment Day, either directly or indirectly. The Qur'an contains many vivid descriptions of Judgment Day. It is a true blessing that one can acquire knowledge about Judgment Day and its severity now so that he or she can prepare themselves adequately for this great day. The possession of faith in life after death encourages one to righteous deeds, to fear God, to increase God's consciousness and to avoid wrongdoing. O oh, you who have believed, protect yourselves and your families from the hellfire, whose fuel is people and stones. Do not stand amongst people that have convinced themselves that Judgment Day is far away and that they don't have to prepare themselves for this fateful occurrence. O oh, you who have believed, fear Allah and let every soul look to what it has put forth for tomorrow and fear Allah Indeed, Allah is acquainted to what you do. Our Prophet narrated, whoever guides another to a good deed will get a reward similar to the one who performs it. So please like, subscribe, and share this video. Assalamu alaikum.